My name is Takuto Inoue. About two years ago, I decided to change my introverted and nerdy life by putting all of my energy into job hunting. That was when I had a fateful meeting. I'm Reina Matsumoto, CEO of Scramble Stage. We provide advertising and consulting services too. Those beautiful eyes, the calm and collected composure of a mature woman. I think I am in love. Reina Matsumoto, the CEO of Scramble Stage, started her own company in her 20s. She is a very beautiful female CEO who has been gathering a lot of attention in the industry. It was love at first sight. From there, I narrowed in on Scramble Stage and somehow managed to secure a job offer. Apparently, each year, one of the new hires is given the opportunity to work directly under Miss Matsumoto as her subordinate. However, rumors have it that no one has lasted over six months because of her strictness and indifferent attitude. This rumor made everyone afraid of her. If no one is interested... Please let me do it! All right then, I look forward to working with you. I will not run away! So, with determination and hard work, I am still working under Miss Matsumoto a year and a half later. Although I lasted longer than anyone who preceded me, things are not always easy. Can you fix this here? Yes, ma'am! And here as well. Y uh, yes ma'am. I feel like I'm just dragging her down. Well, I guess I've always been called clumsy and airheaded. Wow, this dynamic between us is just like... An owner and pet dynamic. You and Miss Matsumoto. Uh, Mr. Otakuda, I think you're absolutely right. It's wonderful that you've lasted so long working under her. Your determination is commendable. This is Mr. Otakuda. He is a fellow introvert and nerd, so we get along. I hang out with him a lot outside of work. Mr. Otakuda always comforts me, but I know at this rate I won't be able to work autonomously. My love at first sight has never faded, but I'm sure I haven't done much to win her over. That was when Miss Matsumoto approached me. You look out of it these days. I'm sorry. This is it. This is how I'm going to be fired. You know, you are easy to. Uh, easy to replace! I'm so sorry. I'll put in even more effort. Oh no, that's not it. Oh, I'm such a pathetic loser. I can't even bring myself to look at her beautiful face. That night, I headed home to open two cans of beer. In my desperation, I finished both despite having a low alcohol tolerance and fell asleep shortly after. Uh, I know I said I'd do my best. I guess my only option is to give up. There's a new cat cafe that opened. Takto, you love cats, don't you? Huh? Mr. Otakuda? Cat cafe? I want to go, but... How are you finding living on your own? You should also think about your future. What now? Uh, Mom, sorry, but I don't have the capacity to... Tell me honestly what you think about the company and me. If there's anything I can do to help, I'm willing to cooperate. One message after the other? Seriously, what's going on? Miss Matsumoto... Uh, I can't. I'm already at my limit. Uh, whatever. Who cares? I'ma go back to sleep. Guess I should at least reply. At first, Mr. Otakura... What was it? Oh, right. Cats. They are my one and only true love that I want to own and take care of. And next was Miss Matsumoto. I'm going to be honest with her. I might be at my limit. I am thinking of quitting. Finally to mom, I have no mental space or clarity to think about my future. I'm okay by myself. Stop bothering me. Right, I'm going to sleep. Tomorrow is my day off, so I am turning my phone off and sleeping. And so I decided to ignore everything and fell into a deep sleep. However, I had yet to realize the huge mistake I made. The next morning, I woke up early out of habit to find I had spilled beer over my phone last night. My day off of work started with getting a new phone. It was not a huge deal because I was thinking of getting a new phone anyway, but all of my chat history was gone. 
All right. I told Miss Matsumoto that I was at my limit, didn't I? Huh? She's asking if I'm serious. I guess I'll just have to tell her everything. Did I order something? Coming! <laughs> Good morning. Huh? Uh, this must be a dream. I, I don't know how to say this. Are you sure I'm older than you? Huh? Um, what are you... Can I come in? This, this isn't a dream. Oh, hold on. What's with all of that luggage? You sent me that message, and I said I'd do anything. Oh! Oh my gosh, is she here to convince me not to leave? What a nice lady. So, is this where I'll be living? Excuse me? Do you want me living outside? Uh, no, no, uh, you can stay inside. I'm glad to hear that. Did she say that she'll be living here? Why? And so, Miss Matsumoto unpacked her luggage and just stared at me. She's so cute. But seriously, what is going on? Oh, maybe it's because I'm so helpless. She wants to continue the pet and owner dynamic in our personal lives. Walk. Um? Take me on a walk. I knew it! Da -da -da. I did as told, but man, never thought my personal life would be managed like this. But that means I get to spend more time with... Hey! You are so out of it! What if I wander off somewhere? Uh. You need to be more responsible as an owner. Yes, ma'am. Wait, what? I thought I was supposed to be the pet. When I returned home from my somewhat weird walk, there was a box in front of my door. There was no shipping label, and it seemed suspicious. But it turns out my mom had sent me a care package. Mom, did I say something that would worry her? Can you cook? I cannot. Wow. And you make such bold statements. I'll make you something. You just wait. Oh, thank you. Oh, she looks beautiful with an apron. Wait, did she bring that too? This is the first time I got a care package. What's this? Why is Dad suddenly saying something like this? It's done. It's just stir-fry, but the taste is... Huh? You're already thinking about marriage? Uh, yeah, eventually. Uh-huh. Aww. You're actually quite a man, aren't you? Uh. Okay, shall we eat? Oh, don't tell me you can't eat by yourself. Well, I guess I'll have to feed you. Uh, uh, no, actually, can you please? And so, without getting any grasp on the situation, my heavenly life with Miss Matsumoto began. Every morning, we'd eat breakfast together and head to the same company from the same house. Once Miss Matsumoto puts on her suit, her personality switches completely to work mode. Of course, at the company, she puts aside our mysterious moving arrangements and remains strict and unapproachable. The contrast with the apron is so good! Takto, do you have a minute? Oh, uh, Mr. Otakuda, that cat cafe you mentioned before. Well, these are the coupons. Well, sorry for bothering you. See you. Um, I thought we were going together. Did I say something to him? What are you doing? Have you finished the task I gave you yesterday? Sorry, I'll be done in about an hour. Huh? You dropped something. Oh, that's... Uh... Is this coupon for us? Yes, of course. How about next weekend? Everything is happening so quickly, but... I guess it's working in my favor. As promised, Miss Matsumoto and I went to the cat cafe on our day off. As a true cat lover, I was thrilled to be surrounded by cats for the first time in a while. Aww, you're so cute. You're so fluffy. One kitty cat after the other. What, what are you doing? Can't you tell? I'm a cat. I, uh, I can only see that you're being cute. He, <laughs> that works too. After enjoying the company of cats and Miss Matsumoto's cuteness, we went out for a bite followed by window shopping. Miss Matsumoto is cool and collected at work, but the more I realize that she's just an ordinary girl, the more my heart is drawn to her. That's nice. 
I wasn't looking at it because I wanted it. I'm sure it won't look good on me. That's not true. You'll look great in anything, Miss Matsumoto. I think it'll suit you. Uh. Oh, sorry. You probably don't want my opinion. Oh, no. It's not like that. Thank you. Before I knew it, I was able to be with Miss Matsumoto without feeling nervous. After spending a very fulfilling day off, I felt very energized to go back to work the next day. Those cats really melted my stress away. I really, really want one. Uh... Do you have any pets? You go home first. Huh? Um, okay. Hmm? Huh? Is she okay? That night, Miss Matsumoto came home late and went straight to bed without saying a word. She was acting normal at work the next day, but... Uh, I'm leaving now. Have a good evening. Uh, uh, is she mad at me? Could it be that she's fed up with me not making any progress after all she's done? I guess I'll apologize when I go home. I'm home. Welcome home. Huh? What? Huh? Oh my gosh, she's so cute that my brain isn't functioning. Dinner is ready. Oh, thank you. Hang on, hang on. What are you doing? Cats melt away your stress, right? And you said you wanted one even though you have me. Am I not good enough? Of course you're good enough. You're more than enough. From that day onwards, Miss Matsumoto started wearing cat ears regularly. However, despite being overwhelmed and bombarded by her cuteness, I still felt that our living situation and relationship dynamic was strange. When I finally calmed down, I reflected back on everything that happened in the past few months. The care package from my parents, a Mr. Otakuda who refused to go to the cat cafe with me, even though he invited me, and then Miss Matsumoto moving in. Yeah, everything started that night. I replied to the three messages when I was half asleep. Oh no. I asked my mom and Mr. Otakuda to send screenshots of our conversation from that night. And that was when I discovered the big mistake I had made. So that means I sent the wrong message to Miss Matsumoto. Takuto, dinner is ready. What's wrong? Uh, Miss Matsumoto, why did you come here? It's because you sent me that message. Oh my gosh, is this for real? I was surprised at first, but you said you were serious, so... Uh... What's wrong? I'm so sorry! Huh? And so I explained about the mistake. I did a mistake, but I was very happy that... Huh? Th that you... I see... It seems I got carried away because of my misunderstanding. Sorry for causing you so much trouble. Miss Matsumoto! Miss Matsumoto burst out the door, but I couldn't run after her. I knew it was a problem that could not be forgiven by a simple apology. I can't stay this way. I'm gonna change. A few days later. t takudo Yes? Can you do the- Oh, that? It's already done. Oh. I also compiled the schedule and materials for next week's business meeting. Uh, please review them. Uh, oh, great. That's wonderful. I'm not done yet. I continued to develop my skills after that and tackled my work with a vengeance. Not only that, I also started cooking at home and spared no effort in both my professional and personal life. Gradually, my character and skill sets developed to the point my evaluations at work improved until finally, you're on your own starting next month. You've done well. Thank you very much. Yes, at long last. It's the first time in a while I get to talk to her like this. You can go now. Um, Miss Matsumoto, regarding the days we... I will forget about it. All of our days together. Ugh. But I will always remember the day we first met. The new hires were all afraid of me. To be honest, it hurt. But you were the only one who raised your hand and stuck by my side since. You were like a pet. So sweet and adorable. I was very happy. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew you'd be on your own and I felt lonely. I didn't want you to leave. Oh. But I can't say that, right? So I figured if I acted cold towards you, you might start to distance yourself from me. 
I really failed as a CEO, didn't I? I didn't know what to do. So that was when I sent you that message. And you replied with that message. Of course I'd be elated. Uh, but that's... Please don't comfort me! Miss Matsumoto... I'm sure it was uncomfortable for you, wasn't it? Since Tai moved out of your house, you've grown so much. You probably wanted to be away from me in both professional and personal life. Quite the opposite. Huh? I wanted you to recognize me as a man in both my professional and personal life. What? I decided to join this company because I fell in love with you at first sight. I'd never want to leave you. T Takuto? I did make a mistake, but I don't want to make the same mistake again. Miss Matsumoto, please look at me. I... I want to tell you something. I really love you, Miss Matsumoto. Not as a pet and owner, but I would love to be your lover. I... Of course. Don't make any more mistakes, okay? Yes, I will never let go. Hey, Miss Matsumoto. It's okay. It's past work hours. Oh, right. Um, I'm younger than you. Is that okay? Yes, yes. I actually like younger men. So, I'll be moving in with you again, okay? Of course. Absolutely. And so, we became an official couple. All the employees at the company congratulated us. I also continued to produce good results, making sure I lived up to the CEO's standards as her man. Of course, Miss Matsumoto also demonstrated her excellent leadership skills as the CEO, leading the company and the staff. Can I leave the next business meeting to you? Of course, I've already prepared for it. From pet and owner dynamic to an elite working couple. Well, that's what people say about us in our professional lives. But as soon as we are home... Welcome home! I'm home! Meow! Do what you always do, meow. You're so cute. You're so sweet. <laughs> more, more. We are a lovey-dovey couple, but nobody else needs to know this fact. Hi, it's me, Mel. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too.